Saba's Snow Globe by Dr. Tamar Pizzoli, illustrated by Elena Tomasi Ferroni. Saba's grandmother, Akili, was a collector. She collected large things, she collected tiny things, and she collected things of various sizes in between. But of all of the items grandmother Akili collected, Saba's absolute favorite were her snow globes. How many do you have? Saba would often ask grandmother Akili, who would respond, You'd think I'd know, sweetheart, but every time I think I've counted them all, I find one more. Saba knew which snow globe was grandmother Akili's favorite, because each time Saba would reach for it, her grandmother would gently remind her to be careful as she handled the glass globe. That one was the first in the collection. It's the oldest, her grandmother said. I bought it in Rome many years ago. Saba's favorite snow globe was a different one. It was just slightly larger than her hand, and as she gazed in the bubble, she imagined that all of the marvels and magic of ancient Egypt were inside. She saw herself inside of the sphere as well. I picked that one up on a trip to Cairo. Her grandmother would always smile. The idea of snow in Cairo tickled me. Does it ever snow in Cairo? Saba asked her grandmother. Mm, I don't think so, baby girl, her grandmother answered. She continued, at least I've never heard of it happening. The Egyptian snow globe felt like a precious gem in Saba's small hands. To her, it was both a time capsule and a time machine. Years later, Saba would realize that her interest in Egypt linked directly back to that very snow globe. She began to study and learn all she could about the land, the culture, and the people. Over the years, she read all the books she could find about ancient Egypt. The fact that the Great Pyramid of Giza was the tallest man-made structure before the Eiffel Tower was built completely fascinated her. Saba saw herself in the great queens of Egypt and Kush. And she enjoyed sampling the most delectable spreads at Al Amir, the only Egyptian restaurant in her town. It surprised no one in her family, especially not her grandmother, Akili. When Saba had grown enough in years, height, and knowledge to enroll in college, that her choice was to study in Egypt at Al-Azhar University, one of the oldest and most important learning sites in the world. It was on a particularly cold day in December of 2013 that the past and the present were brought together in one simple, magnificent moment in time. Saba stood in the center of the Giza Plateau on the west bank of the Nile, furiously scribbling information of interest along with her classmates as her university professor lectured when she felt something wet and cold land on the tip of her nose. Soon after, other classmates noticed the impossible was indeed descending from the sky. Before long, a snowfall of the rarest kind blanketed the entire city of Cairo as Saba stood at the foot of the Great Pyramid of Giza with her pen and journal in hand. It can't be, a classmate said. But inside, Saba knew. She smiled with her head tilted toward the sky. What a gift it was to experience a snowfall in Cairo that only happens about once every 100 years. Saba couldn't help but feel that she had seen the exact same scene somewhere long before. And then the truth struck her. Saba reached into her backpack pulled out Grandmother Akili's snow globe and stood in awe, suspended somewhere in the truth and wonder of it all. She stood in the splendor of a dream. 
come true. Copyright 2021 by Dr. Tamara Pizzoli.